of course does have level six it was in the river but okay we're just gonna watch a 2v2 it looks like here straight up well owner's going to come out and make it a 2v1 for the first part and that is going to be first blood going over perfect execution comes through Isaiah he's able to walk it out there's the flag forward from Karis can he get enough damage down is the question Isaiah he's still alive the taunt's going to come through and Faker is going to like he's actually quite going to make it here in time. But can they call this jump point? Yeah, well, Faker is going to Everfrost onto Willa. There is an Akali here, but she does get pushed down with the Emperor's Divide. There is the heroic entrance, but Zeus has already landed the backflip. There's the flash forward from Kumiushi. Pop goes the bottom lane. Here onto Dudu, who's just throwing drills around, and now Zeus is sort of alone. Underneath this one, there is a Nah into the wall. Owner is going to turn up. Honestly, has to get himself out of here. The Ignite still ticking down as Owner finds yet another one. Safeguard to find Psalm D, and they are tidying everyone up. Bit of a gank rush here. Uh, Karis might just die. There is a Glacier Prison. As he is going to go golden for a moment, Faker off to the side, looking for Dudu. Seismic shove is good, pushes him back towards the wall. No one dead just yet. Mazaeus can tank for about forever. The Civil will fall down. Kumiuchi picks up his double, make it a triple. Will he get another Penta kill? It's a quadra at least, but where did the Silas go? He's going to be teleporting. He's trying to get out, and there's the kick to the back of the head. How Nongshim can keep Ona out of this pit. Carrier trying to be frustrating, and Snowflower's here. He's got a headbutt. Can I? I don't know what that was, but the Assault and Battery isn't going to get him into this one. Empress Divide's massive, though, as Dread wants to be able to take down the Baron, but he just can't do it. And Nongshim, they do have some healing here from BDD, who's able to stay alive for a long time, but it's the Vi that locks down the Baron. And Nongshim, they tried to throw the Hail Mary, but she slapped them in the face. Yeah, I think you got her. That's Nongshim, unfortunately. Um, and it's better, but I think you still got White. I don't think that part is ever going to be better, a Snowflower. Well, he does have his ult, but uh, Ghost is already dead. Faker now making his way towards the enemy in a turret, and he will go down as well. That's going to be the trade. Can is also going to die, though, as Carrier looks for the grand entrance. Nice. Carrier is going to rotate over. Zayas finds the tactical sweep onto Snowflower, and Faker gets the flash. Ghost immediately does go golden, as Faker's going to do exactly the same thing, but Ghost will not survive any longer than that. Faker might go down, but he's done his job, and actually, he will not. It's a triple kill for Gumi Yushi. Make that one a quadra as now Snowflower is doing his best. But to get a bunch of extra autos, and Gumi Yushi's gonna have to go back home. Faker going aggressive one more time. All the deception gonna be avoided beautifully here as BDD just not allowed to lane. Faker took that last game absolutely personal. Yeah, did not enjoy it at all. Um, okay, BDD's just gonna get flashed on. He didn't have flash for it this time around in Faker turret potentially. Arrow will connect onto Carrier. As now BDD dashing forward, finds himself a charm, dashes to the side as well as Carrier. Might be able to throw out an ult here, as there's the Assault and Battery. Zayas just riding amongst it, but uh, there is the passive pop. Now you could teleport to it, as now Kana finds himself a great engage, but he's gone too far, and that is going to be the cash in and a double. Should enjoy what we have, which is an arrow. Indeed. Well, uh, Dredd's now in a heck of a lot of trouble. He's going to ult just to celebrate, as that will be up when he has respawned. As Nongshim now on the back foot, Elastic Slingshot is going to come on through here. Zayas finds the perfect engage. BDD's going to be eradicated immediately. Goes down to his GA that he'd only just purchased, as Kana desperately wants to keep him alive. Ona going to mitigate the turret and ult down, getting slowed down as we're not done. Yeah, we got another battle. Kana's going to find a few knockups here. Zayas taking way too much damage, but BDD gets handshot. Faker going to lock down the RE yet again. Ghost trying to stay alive, but it's not going to work. It's the charm from owner of all things. As now Nongshim are officially routed. You can see the teleport already. That's the streak, but they're still potentially going to go for it. Final chapter once again. Guma's going to block some of that. As they try to get on Zoomaker, but he's going to live just barely again. How do they keep getting away with this? The Yumi's insane, but T1 are still fighting on the front line, and the eventual Infernal Trigger comes in, and it is enough as Faker will look for more. One more auto will do it. He's just going to boop him. Dalmon are in good position at the moment, as they are going to get on top of this Nautilus, but immediately followed up with a knock-up, and that is going to be huge. They get the Nautilus, but what do they lose? The answer is everything. As Duck Dom goes in, he's going to be taken out eventually as well. Faker will net himself that kill, and yeah. Billy dying around as Faker, yeah, he's, he's really fed. He's insanely fed. 
What is a tank? He doesn't need magic penetration, but, but I think he does have Void Snap now online as well. So, <laughs> yeah. uh, Baker's like, hold on, I'll kill the Drake and Sage yeah. one at the same time! Dead Piggy. <laughs> Piggy is dead, so is the Sinjao, and that's going to be everybody at Duck Time. He's, you know, he's having a little bit of fun. Down he will go as well. That is going to be another kill into the player from the side of Dom. Now, you know, Duck Dom does have two kills, but it's just not really going to matter in this game as he is going to be absolutely pummeled. As in goes Carrier for the flash and hook once again. And this time we have a huge front line here for the side of T1. They are just dominating this fight. It is so one-sided. Canyon is able to get one kill, but that is a tiny consolation prize compared to what T1 have been able to garner in this game. Nuggery is caught out as well. And that will be Guma picking up yet another kill. Should be 100% D1s, but Damakia, they say, we've got a Zeri, we've got a Dream. Do they have the tools to get into this one? Death Charge on the Duck Dom, he has to get away. The damage is not there from the Zeri for the entirety of this fight. And that should be enough. Carry is going to put an end to that one as Baker. Going to miss the charm here. He's on the run, but he's got his Zonyas. And that should be enough. The barrel comes in, and he gets pooped on the head with a big all. He has Crown and Zonyas. So, like, imagine trying to take him down right now. So, trying to get on top of Guma, who has isolated himself. And he will be flashed on and maybe killed. He's very fast with that ghost, and he will be able to get away. That's the follow-up here on the Myrtle, who now does not have the Flash or the Dominus. He will be taken down the Pillars. And the follow-up will come in from the side of T1. Big last breath, though, trying to turn this one around. As is just going to get low, but he's just too tanky. They don't quite have the damage to make it through him, as Showmaker will finally be able to. But the Yumi still here, still healing through all of this damage. And it wasn't a clean fight, but it is going to be T1s in the end. There's three of them will live. A triple kill for Owner, who now is here for T1. As Baker goes a bit uh, deep, but he's totally fine. Again, he's very defensive itemization. Now, Kellen is just going to get 100 to 0, basically, on this immobile Senna. Duck Dom gets the last breath here on the Baker, who does not care at all. Has more armor than uh, Duck Dom can penetrate through. And that might just be the end of the game. We have Teleport into mid lane right now at a Faker, as everybody else on the side of Dominus being pushed away. T1 with a great clean fight here. All they needed to space where T1 could threaten more. A little bit of a play here as the Brawl is knocked away, and T1 are turning this one around. Huge Cyclone onto the both of them on the second application, as that is going to be enough. Zeus is going deep now, and he is so tanky with all this gold and the Baron buff. This game was so close, and now it is so one-sided. T1 should be spotted. Will it be spotted on time? Baker's getting in there. They're looking for the Wabo. They get into that back line, and they're going to decimate the Draven once again, as the Swain survives for a long period of time. And Nuggery is so huge in this fight, but he cannot get on top of the Kalista. And T1, they do it again, this time from behind. I'm really believing this, but let's see. I mean, they, they've gotten in as Kellen basically dies. He's basically not in the fight. He's gonna try to heal this one up as Baker's just pushing mid. He is gonna join his team eventually, as now we do have the Zeri. Take a look at Guma on the top side. They're not able to get this. It is the Azir who picks it up, but who cares? The Zeri lives, and five members of T1 will live as well, and that's gonna do it. T1 are going to the Summer LCK Finals. And they prevent the reverse sweep. Calm and collected under high pressure here, the fifth oh. game against Top Azir.